I actually um, have an agriculture, I studied agricultural economics at Texas Tech University. And while I was at Texas Tech, I saw a flyer on the bulletin board for an internship at the Merck. And uh, so I did get started in this industry in, as an intern for the uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange and sponsored by a firm that is actually no longer in this industry. Um, we, from there, I moved here, my parents drove me to Lincoln, Nebraska. I jumped in a rider truck with a group of uh, guys that were also in this internship program. Um, when I moved to Chicago, I did not know a single soul. And similar to today, the panel, I think I'm the only female with a whole group of men represented today. In the internship program, I was the only female out of 24 individuals in the internship program. Um, so I think that there is a lot of room for improvement of getting women involved in this industry as well. And so I'm a, definitely an advocate for that. Um, as far as the sales end of it, um, after moving here and starting after the internship with the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, we had an opportunity to learn about basically taking every class that the uh, Merck offered, working with a firm, working on sales. Um, from there, I moved to RJ O'Brien and working on a trade desk. You know, working on the trade desk was very, very important. I was able to really get into the uh, woods with uh, managing risk, evaluating markets, and really getting a, a good understanding of the day-to-day -day volatility and movements in the market. Um, one of my favorite parts in working on the sales and with the front lines is that I had the opportunity um, to really learn about the psychology of people. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have taken a psychology class at school. I mean, the markets ebb and flow day to day, and a lot of things are driven by people's reactions to events in the markets or to economic um, economic events like a grain shortage or weather supply and demand issue. Um, and so we actually, working in the front lines and working with the markets and learn, understanding markets and understanding risk and helping people uh, navigate that risk um, is, is very, very important. Helping people stay emotionally calm in a very stressful situation can sometimes be very, very challenging. Um, and the way to do that is really understanding the markets, understanding what is happening and helping people explain what's happening in the markets. So while I'm working at RJO, you know, working on the trade disc and so forth, um, I swore to my mother I was going to go back to Texas after the six months. <laughs> Unfortunately, that did not happen for my mother, but she's, she's, she's learned to deal with it. We're happy. She has grandkids now. Everything's good. Um, so from there, I ended up going to school at IIT. I hear there's quite a few IIT students here in the, in the audience. Um, so I got the, my master's in financial markets and trading from the uh, Stewart School of Business, and I'm actually on the uh, board of advisors for Stewart currently. Um, from there, I worked 100% after that, actually 100% dedicated on the front lines working with, with people in, in, the sale, in a sales role. Um, so in the sales role, extremely broad group of clients um, from individuals that are, have no knowledge whatsoever of the industry to extremely high net worth individuals, extremely savvy with the market. And the thing that I really loved the most in this experience was that, you know, not only did I get to teach, but I also was the reciprocant and learned a lot. So as, as a broker on the front lines, I became the hub of information and sharing information with all sorts of people. And it just became, uh, it was really, really fun day in and day out. The bottom line, though, is sales can be very, very grueling. Has anybody had a sales job before? You know, it's not easy, right? Does anybody feel uncomfortable asking somebody for money? You know, that you have a high probability as a retailer, as an individual investor, you may or may not, you know, make your money back. Are you comfortable losing your money? Um, it's not an easy job, but one of the things that I've learned over the years is that having hard conversations never gets any easier. You know, don't put off having hard conversations. Um, the sooner you start having hard conversations with people and being very straightforward with people, the easier um, it is to prepare people for a potential outcome that may happen or may not happen. You know, um, so what I'm, bottom line is communication is very, very important. Um, don't ever put off bad news. You know, it's only going to get worse. Um, I'm sure, has anybody ever had a hard time breaking up with somebody, probably? It's never an easy thing to do. Um, 
so anyway, after um, working straight on the front lines, our jail has been very, very, um, was very good to myself and my family. We, they basically, I was able to set up a branch office and work from home for seven years. Um, you know, when we had, when we started having kids and things like that. So there was some definite flexibility. And I think with the um, advances of technology nowadays, that there is um, a lot of opportunity for some possible more flexibility in, in the, in the industry. Um, moving on after seven years, RJO asked me to come back in and actually uh, jumped the fence a little bit and came into the management side of the business. Um, and with that, I've had the opportunity to um, really, I felt like I, I, learned, I love, love, love the markets. And on the sales side, I have the opportunity to really understand the markets and understand people, understand the volatility of, you know, what goes on in situations. You know, when somebody loses a lot of money, you, you stick to your, stick to your uh, stomach and so forth. On the management side, it was, I had the opportunity to look at the other side of the fence. You know, we're working on brainstorming with different departments. What, it, what should we be doing? What can we do better? You know, what is... Um, how do we improve our service? How do we um, approach this marketing issue or this marketing? You know, there's a lot of different avenues and areas that we work with within RJO Futures and within RJ O'Brien. And I think that you guys had mentioned it earlier was that, you know, there's so many different opportunities in this industry and to get involved, I mean, whether it be in accounting, you know, and running reports and data analysis, marketing, you know, we have so much work to do on the marketing um, end of, of this industry and education. Um, a lot of our marketing is all is focused on educating clients about the industry and about markets. Um, we are also, we work with traders or potential traders, people that are trying to develop algorithmic trading programs um, or trading discretionary programs. Uh, so there are all sorts of avenues and so forth that you can take in this industry. Um, no matter what though, I think that in anything that you do in this industry, and I'm probably a little biased because I was on the front lines of sales for so many years, I think that it just having the chance to be on the front lines working with the markets is an invaluable experience no matter what you do in this industry, no matter where you end, end up and what path you take. You know, it is a great, great opportunity and um, so, Pay doesn't, doesn't start out very well. I think a lot of people can attest that have been in the market, in the industry, you know, they probably weren't making a lot when they started out. I mean, I know I, I was not making very much when I started out and came up here for the first time and had two jobs and, you know, but you get through it. You learn about yourself, you, you know, you build um, a thicker skin, so to speak, when you, when you give it all in. Um, I think that the hardest part, no matter what you're doing as well, is, you know, we're all people. We all have emotions. We all have different personalities. And I think one thing that I see a lot is, especially when there's not a lot of volume, uh, I know um, we're looking for that, the fixed market to continue to, uh, to rally and so forth. It's been pretty steady for way too long in this industry. Um, so, we're, you know, we'd like to see a lot more volatility in this market. People in the whole industry are a lot more, a lot happier when there's a lot of things going on, when there's a lot of volatility when there's decisions to be made, when you know you have a story to tell about what's happening in this industry. Um, and when it's quiet, people get antsy, people get stressed out and very emotional. So I, I, my word of advice on that is just constantly focus on what you can do to improve you. You know, focus on, you know, take another class. What is it that you feel like you can learn more from? Um, and just constantly focus on learning and to advance your career rather than worrying about what other people are doing. You know, just focus on what you can do to improve you.